We are back now with exciting new details about a new cosmic discovery in our solar system. A team at Princeton University was on the hunt for the elusive Planet Nine. That's a hypothetical planet larger than Earth that some astronomers believe exists beyond Neptune's orbit. Well, instead, they found a different celestial anomaly at the very edge of our solar system that defies what astronomers thought they knew about stars. We have Dr. Paul Sutter. He's a NASA advisor, astrophysicist, author of How to Die in Space, A Journey Through Dangerous Astrophysical Phenomena. He's with us to explain what this all means. Doctor, great to have you with us. Good morning. Okay, so scientists think they found a massive planet orbiting a small star. Explain that. Why is that a big deal? How big of a discovery is this? Yeah, this is a very, very interesting discovery because uh, so far of all the stars and planets we've mapped in the galaxy, small stars tend to have small planets, medium stars have medium planets, and big stars have big planets. But now we have a small star with a big planet, and this is uh, challenging us for us to explain of how such a large planet could form around such a small star. And we're very interested in these kinds of questions because we're very interested in uh, how planets and it's like the Earth forms, how solar systems like our own solar system forms, how life appears in the solar system and in the galaxy. And all this is tied together. And by piecing together all of these different threads and all of these interesting edge cases gives us a complete picture of that story. So as we mentioned, I mean, this was found during a project to locate that elusive Planet Nine. Though many astronomers are split <clears throat> on whether Planet Nine actually exists What's your theory? What's your take on Planet Nine? And does this discovery impact the possibility of its existence? Yeah, to me, as a scientist, we have to go by the evidence. And right now, the evidence for the existence of a new planet out beyond the orbit of Neptune, beyond the orbit of Pluto, a very large planet, is relatively slim and very um, uh, circumstantial. We do not have solid evidence yet. As the years go by, it doesn't seem likely that's a planet out there. But once again, we're talking about uh, a region of the solar system that is relatively relatively unexplored. You know, these are vast distances. These planets have orbits that last for tens of thousands of years. We're really pushing the limits of our capabilities to even search in this region, the distant reaches of our own backyard. But understanding that helps us understand what happens on the inside of the solar system. Another part of this project, this is kind of crazy sounding to people who are not space people or like we are, we love space stuff, but we don't know things. Searching for evidence of dark energy. We understand this to be this enormous, powerful force. It takes up nearly 70% of the universe. It was always thought to be a constant, but a couple months ago, scientists revealed new data that suggests that the force might be waning. Okay, decode all of that. What is dark <laughs> energy? Is it like scary and bad like it sounds? What does it mean that it's waning? Oh, I have to admit, it is a fantastic name. Uh, it's got great branding here, <laughs> but really, it is, it's an unknown in the universe. So we've known for 100 years that our universe is getting bigger with time. We live in an expanding universe. But we recently discovered that the expansion is accelerating. The universe is getting bigger and bigger faster and faster every single day. And we call this effect dark energy. We don't know what's causing it. We don't know what's powering it. We don't know if it's changing with time. We know it's there, though. And recently, this latest observation indicates just a slight shred of evidence that maybe dark energy is getting a little weaker with time. This is really big for you know people who are into this because we're trying to determine the ultimate fate of the universe. We are trying to determine what is going to happen in the long term of the universe and what our universe is fundamentally made of. And looking for these tiny little changes helps us understand what the universe is made of. I know plenty of people with dark energy. Their energy is not waning. <laughs> yes. It seems to only be getting stronger. So, Dr. Paul Sutter, thank you so much for joining us this morning. It was a fascinating conversation.